Tana, tana, ni moto na ni nono. Come and buy your kaimatis here. African diva. I hope you guys are doing amazing as you can see. I'm doing great here in Nairobi County in the outskirts of Nairobi City. We are at a neighborhood called Pipeline, one of the most densely populated neighborhoods that we have in Kenya. I don't think there is any other neighborhood as uh, you know populated as this place. So I'm gonna give you a tour guys so that you know you can see as to why in Kenya we don't have so many people living on the streets because you know most parts in Kenya are quite affordable and this is one of the most affordable neighborhood that you can live in when you visit uh, Kenya they have houses from as low as 3,000 Kenyan shillings I guess but we're gonna ask that I'm not yet sure about that so I wanna give you a tour of this place and if you're watching me and you haven't yet subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe to the channel give this video a like and we are right to 7,000 subscribers so let's try and get there before the end of this month so come along with me as we tour our pipeline <laughs> Actually, uh, touring this neighborhood, I did not only come just by myself. I came with other YouTubers, and first one from you know Kenya. He's Kenya. Hi. Hi. <laughs> His smile, I always watch his oh, videos and I'm like, he's always happy. <laughs> yeah, so uh, can you introduce yourself to my people? Yo, thanks so, thanks so much for the um, privilege of being on your channel. And uh, I go by the name Romy is me on all social media platforms. Talk of X, talk of Instagram, talk of TikTok, Facebook, and main, mainly here on YouTube. I go by the name Romy is me. That is R O W M Y. I Z M E. Thank you so much and may kindly, kindly support our sister all the way to success. We shall say success because you know you can't limit yourselves by saying a million subscribers. Exactly, yeah. They say successful, but they can you can't limit them. Oh, you know, that's why I didn't know that. This video can be seen 20 years from now, and you're telling people yeah. 20,000. You know, <laughs> and I'll be maybe and you've already surpassed. Yeah. So somebody will be like, ah, you already attained your goals. So uh, why do you like now subscribe? You understand? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So road to success. Kindly support our sister. She always does an amazing job. Wow. I've been watching your videos since way back you. and you didn't know that <laughs> yeah i didn't know yeah so can you continue doing uh great great content and uh thank you for your subscribers for always supporting you and uh you're destined for greatness wow thank yeah. you so much so let me ask you one thing uh, -huh. uh compared to where you live i don't know where you live uh, to this area that we are in now today uh what what are the major differences that you can tell so i was raised in kibra okay or the way they used to call it kibera yeah yeah so um when I was young, yeah. uh, being raised in Kibra, I used to think that Kibera is the most densely populated. Yeah. Now when I came here uh, bringing Harry Chanapo, well, I was yeah. like, wow. So this, this place in here is quietly densely populated because yeah. populated, I realized that when it was in the evening, then people were coming from work. And I was like, wait, where are people going? Is, is there any problem? <laughs> are there demonstrations uh, you know, from, going on? From Kibra, from yeah. Kibra, I'm used to, whenever people are flooding the road, yeah, people, people are going for demonstration groups. So yeah. Kibera is well known for demonstrating. Yeah. So like, eh, people going for demonstration, then people told me, people yeah. are coming back from work. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> so that's how this place is, you know, okay. densely populated. Because I used to think Kibera is more, more like, uh, more, more than any other neighborhood. Yeah, because, uh, yeah. okay, it has many people, but yeah. in terms of uh, 100, square, 100 uh, square meters, yeah. this place has more because it has flats, yeah. you know? It can be a smaller uh, space, but it has flats. So it's, uh, it's, uh, 
uh, I mean, besides more people. people. Okay. Yeah, than Kibra. Because Kibra, most of the houses are just bungalows. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, guys. Yeah, so we are touring uh, Pipeline. Make sure to check him out and support his channel. Yeah. Uh, he's doing an amazing job. I've also been watching his content. He doesn't know. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, watching your content. Okay. And I, I always, he's always smiling. So yeah. that helps you. He gives you good vibes. Go and yeah. check him out and subscribe to the channel. Thank there is a, you. There is a why I smile so much. Yeah. And maybe you can take this. Yeah. Because I was told when I was still young, yeah. the more happy you are, Highly chances, highly chances, not like it's guaranteed. Yeah. Highly chances is that you are adding more life to your, uh, you know, you are already made years or something like that. So you add more years or days into your life. So, so you all better keep on smiling and be happy. Yeah, be happy. And then happiness is contagious. So whenever you're happy, exactly, yeah. it's, just, it's just natural that somebody who's next to you will be happy too. So kindly stay happy, stay loving, stay caring, and be positive even when uh, commenting on our sister's page. Because yeah. I know she's, you know, I'm trying. <laughs> yeah. I'm so hard. Yeah. So <laughs> kindly support her and we shall really appreciate it. And follow her on all social media platforms. Yeah. Yeah. She always put, yeah, put them over there on the screen. So kindly support her. You know, I always say you should always grow wholesomely yeah. so that uh, one social media platform is not, you know, like you're unbalanced. You understand? Yeah. So kindly support her and we shall really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Watch the video till the end and like. Yes. <laughs> So guys, this is a place where you can also find Nyamachoma just on the streets, some samosas, and they are quite affordable, I know. There are so many restaurants, and as you can see, so many businesses going on. Like, I, I just love this vibe. I love being in such neighborhoods where you can get everything in one place without you having to go through the hassle of going to the capital city of, you know, Nairobi. So here there's a market. Market, supermarkets, everything that you need in one place. You can see people are walking in trolleys selling tomatoes, onions, and also, guys, to be honest, actually, this is one of the neighborhoods in Nairobi that you get in compared to other places or even compared to where I live, and they have their pavements tarmacked or they have what we call cabros making it easier for you to work when it's like right now it's a kind of a rainy or a wet season right here in kenya but as you can see the roads are not muddy so that's one of the things that i like about the neighborhood although it's not that clean as you can see and yeah what do you expect with all these uh apartments you know with all this big population as you can see outside every apartment building there are some sort of businesses going around you know people hustling as you know in kenya job opportunities are not that easy to find even when you landed so you find even most of these people that own businesses here like you know some people who have even degrees but the good thing is that it's because it's uh, more of like you know a place where everyone can afford and the businesses that you can see around here are businesses that cater for most of them are uh, the businesses that cater for day-to-day -day life in Kenya so it's quite easy to make a living out of it you know apart from this neighborhood being uh, so much populated it ha actually has a lively atmosphere compared to most of the neighborhoods that I've been to like uh, the likes of uh, let's say Kilimani or the likes of Westlands when actually you go to areas where people live in the atmosphere is quite lively people are happy friendly like you can see so far I've been filming no one has harassed me or asked me anything you know and in such areas like you go to some neighborhoods and people will be like why are you filming why are you recording but here people are quite okay because they also know we are hustling just like you know some of them are here hustling to make a living for themselves So guys, 
can see and uh, these are the apartments that they have here in pipeline you know this is something that i've always been seeing on people doing tiktok live streams or from other youtubers to be honest i've never been to this side and uh, one thing is that uh, you should know this is a neighborhood where we have all the mixture of you know kenyan ethnic uh, groups from different backgrounds so that also shows you that with this neighborhood we as africans it's easy for us to live together without being divided by anyone at least that is one of the things that i've learned today from this neighborhood as a way to see if i'd learn anything else yeah guys we are still uh, touring pipeline here in the outskirts of nairobi kenya and of course i'm also with another youtuber can you introduce yourself to my people yeah man this is your boy here joel underscore mugisha on the way from kigali rwanda check me out guys subscribe to my channel amazing content and we are here in the most super densely populated neighborhood in nairobi i cannot believe my eyes to be honest what? i've never seen so many people in one place before <laughs> <laughs> him having come from rwanda guys because yeah. i've been i've been to rwanda yeah. and i understand what he means so what's what's that major difference that you've seen from pipeline and nyamirambo neighborhood oh Nyamirambo has quite a, a bit of people, yeah. but not to this level. This is next level. <laughs> yeah, this, is, this is super next level, actually. You can see it in the structures, you can see it in the buildings, mm -hmm. and uh, in the businesses going around, people are just doing their businesses. And to be honest, uh, it's also super safe, which is actually not, not something you find in densely populated areas. Yeah, and that's a nice thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. what, what would you say about this neighborhood? Do you think it's a place, as you've seen it, do you think it's a place that you would want to live in? To be honest, I could live here because one of the reasons I could live here, number one, is uh, it's safe. Number two is uh, every every kind of business or a commodity that you need, there's a business that offers that here. So it's always like a few steps away from you because I've seen so many businesses, I've seen everything actually. So I could actually live here and uh, considering the fact also that uh, I've been told that also renting in this area is uh, quite affordable. So I would live here. Okay. okay guys, you yeah. heard it from Joel. Kindly make sure to check him out on his YouTube channel and support uh you know support the Randy's guy who is now visiting Kenya. Yeah man. Thank you. <laughs> Guys, in the middle of touring pipeline, as I told you, this place is quite affordable. We come around this guy, he's very friendly. The the chef of the day uh, of this what chef he's doing here. Yeah. Day, yeah. So we're having these, they are called kaimatis or mandazis. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, and I'm also, I'm still with my friends. <laughs> How do you guys find these kaimatis? So nice, well done. Mm -hmm. And then what I like about it, yeah. it's not too oily. Exactly, yeah. yeah. It's well, mm -hmm. it's well uh, prepared. Yeah. It doesn't uh, retain the oil. Exactly, it's and it's well me, cooked, yeah. yeah. For me, you know, I'm, I'm that guy who... Who know, likes a, a lot of oil. No, I, 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 I look after what I eat. Okay. So I wouldn't want uh, something which is too oily because um, I'm cautious All what right. I'm eating. So I'm, I'm glad that, yeah, it's well done. Okay. And the joy. You know you guys don't have street food in Rwanda. You'll never find such a thing in Rwanda. I don't know why. How do you find the kaimati? In Rwanda we don't have street food because everything is, is sold in a store. Yeah. So this is nice to be honest and very very affordable. Yeah. Five shillings. But you are complaining it's small. No, the only <laughs> complaint yeah. is um, when I do this. Yeah. That's the real size. Exactly. No, and it's that is for your... Uh, <laughs> okay. Stay in Gizek is the most important thing. Do you hear your praise? Yeah. Do you hear your praise? Oh, mm -hmm. nice. Because of that praise, yeah. I have to do something for you. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Exactly. So this yeah. is because of the price, guys. But it's quite honest, affordable. To be honest, it's actually, affordable. At five bob, mm -hmm. the size is worth it. The size is working. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's worth it. Do, do you like the taste? Man, you see, I'm still eating. <laughs> <laughs> so 
this is how this guy is selling the kaimatis. He's cooking and at the same time he's announcing the kaimatis. I'm gonna try the way he's doing it. I know people would look at me like I'm crazy. No, no, but no, you're not crazy. Okay, I say. Tiano, tiano, ni moto, nani, no, no. Here we go. Tiano, tiano, ni moto, nani, no, no. Come and buy your kaimatis here. At nice, five bob nice, Kenyan nice, nice. shillings. So yeah, let guys. Me, uh, so you've done, you've done your best. Let me do it for you. I've done so, my best. Okay. Let me do it for you. Tano, tano, ni moto, nani no no. Kaimati moto, moto. Tano, 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 tano. Should I put it in the So, I'm going to put it in the air. Okay. Let me try again, guys. <laughs> Tano, Tano, Nani Moto, Kaimati, Nani Nano. <laughs> yeah, guys, so this is how lively this neighborhood is, as I told you. So, yeah, let's continue touring our uh, pipeline neighborhood. If you visit Kenya, make sure to check out this neighborhood and interact with the locals. You surely love it. You meet hidden talent to the streets. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know the streets, you know, Kuna Kuna Vasu, Kuna Imba Jose, Nikona Fili Laje. This street is a sucker for dreams and this, a teacher for life. This street is a sucker for dreams. Is a sucker for dreams and a teacher for life. And a teacher for life. Yes. Wow. Now that is the cost of quote of the day. This street is a teacher for life. I mean it's a sucker for dreams and a teacher for life. Yeah, you learn a lot from the streets. You've heard it guys. You all better check out Pipeline, you know, and interact with the Kenyan locals. Tell me so far, how do you think of this video? How do you think of this neighborhood? So let's continue on with our tours and uh, thank you for watching till to this part. Yes. So, I've beaten four. You've beaten four. So guys, actually, Nick here, a friend that I've met today here mm -hmm. in Pipeline, yeah. he also does outside catering. Yeah. Actually, because I want you guys to support him, he's trying so much as a young Kenyan youth. Yes, Moto Moto Pokerimusa. Yes, customer. Yes. Tano Tano Moto Moto. <laughs> They're very delicious. <laughs> yeah, guys, he's gonna give us his number so that in case you're having a function, in case you want to promote him business wise, you can reach him out. Nick, your number is 07? 0723 okay. You've heard, that is his number guys, it will be on the screen. So in case you have any function, you want to promote him, you can call him, you can give him a call, you can reach him out, you can support him any way that you can. Thank you, Nick. Tano, Tano, ni moto, na ni no no. Kaimati moto moto. Yeah, guys, that's it. <laughs> A positive uh, you know, uh, and you know negative uh, intentions uh, unlike how maybe other people or media bigger media houses uh, big, big media houses yeah. usually push the, ne the narrative of the house respect maybe uh, bad, bad or yeah. you know yeah. in terms of security it's insecure yeah. but that's not the case when you come to the ground and you know what from me i've realized pipeline with other neighborhoods that i've been to do videos they're not harassing people i've been to different neighborhoods and people are always like why are you filming what are you doing yeah. and this is quite different yeah, sure. yeah. yeah that's why i was telling you i was telling him yeah that when i was behind you yeah as you, were, you guys are focusing on the camera uh -huh. they were they were like um you guys are doing an amazing job exploring this place as you show it to the world uh -huh. yeah yeah guys you've had it for yourselves it's quite a good neighborhood over there you can see one bedroom and a bed sitters for renting out. I don't know if we can go and view one apartment and see how life is out here. So guys, we are still in a five line and you know this is just a common neighborhood here in you know Nairobi, Kenya. And let me tell you guys, you can see this shop, they are selling organic fruit direct from the farm no added uh, chemicals free of gmos and that's why i so love this neighborhood because as you can see people you've been seeing working in this video you can see they are healthy people because they are eating organic food direct from the farm and they're quite affordable like right now i want to taste a watermelon and actually you don't have to buy a whole watermelon here in kenya you can just buy a piece So, like this one uh, is 20 shillings and it's very fresh. Let's try it. You see, I see.
see most people doing YouTube from the West and I see their watermelons are actually seedless. A watermelon should not be seedless, it should have seeds. And as you can see the color, it's not some colors, some watermelon have very different colors. But this one, this is the original watermelon from Africa, guys. Let's try this. 20 pop, 20 Kenyan shillings. That is like 15 cents, right? Or 10 cents? 10. Okay. So fresh, guys. That's why you all should visit Africa. You are African Americans. This is your time to relocate to Africa, to the motherland, and enjoy the amazing life that you are living here. Learn all the media lie to you that Africa is poor. Learn all the media lie to you that you have diseases in Africa. No. You see, we are living in harmony, quite healthy, and there is a lot of food in Africa. Yeah guys, as you've seen from the other parts that we come from, they are quite busy, but these streets is actually quite different. Although the apartments are not even as tall as the other ones that we've seen, but we are still in Upper Hill. And as I told you before, like where I live in, we don't have uh, paved pavements. You just walk on the dust, especially when it's raining, it's quite hard for me because you always have to be uh, to use a motorbike. But when you're living here, it's quite easy because you're just walking on the pavement and then you just go direct and you get to the main road. Yeah, so this is a pipeline for you and it's this part is actually quite clean compared to the previous part that we've come from yeah compared to the other part that we're coming from and uh, a bit more organized as you can see there are no more of, uh, businesses outside the apartments it's quite different and I still love it so guys as you can see you also get to buy like uh, second-hand furniture here in pipeline so you don't have to worry for sometimes when you're like just starting out life and you see this is another street with paved it's paved but where I'm walking on right now it's not paved but that street is paved so making it quite easy for people to you know survive here and in other streets the apartments are like almost quite the same I so love this neighborhood to be honest like there's so many people walking around so many businesses so many things happening uh, you can see they also have car spare parts like there is all type of businesses happening in a uh, uh, pipeline wow and also one thing i also forgot to mention guys is that why this is one of the neighborhoods that they have so many industries as you can see i don't know what this industry is for but it's one of the neighborhoods that they have so many sorry they have so many industries see pipeline is also one of the neighborhoods that they have so many industries yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that is what I was telling them. Yeah. I forgot to mention that in the beginning of the video. But you find so many people actually who live here in Pipeline mm -hmm. also work around here because the most uh, most industries are like here. Yeah. Like you find bread, industries, biscuits yeah. or some clothes. Yeah. And also clothes that you find at quite affordable prices. Like you see this company you seeing here guys, it's a construction company. I've just asked the people who are coming out from work right now, that's their gate. I don't want to film them without their concept and because also because they're coming from work. Yeah, so as I've told you, there are so many companies and industries in this neighborhood. So that's why or one of the reasons as to why you find so many people live in this neighborhood because they don't want to be very far away from where they're working. So when you're working in a, uh, in a pipeline and you're living in pipeline, you of course don't get to pay uh, like transport. You just walk to your uh, workplace or probably you use a motorbike that you end up paying like 50 Kenyan shillings when you're maybe late and you cannot walk to work. 
but most areas are walkable. It's quite easy for you to walk. And not only having the the congested apartments that they have here, they also have like some gated estates. Like you see these unique estates and they have nice houses there. You cannot see because of these streets. But yeah. Also guys, it's been such an amazing Monday today. Uh, here in uh, Pipeline and neighborhood in Nairobi County, the outskirts of Nairobi City. I've toured this neighborhood with uh, my friends, uh, Joel and uh, Romy. <laughs> so I want you guys to tell me like your final review or you know your thoughts about this neighborhood. Like, give me an honest review or honest opinion about this neighborhood. We start with Romy. Okay, for me, I also say is this. Okay, this is like uh, my second time here, and today has been more detailed. The first, the first time was just like a uh, basic, basic, it was yeah. just a quick one. But this one uh, has been more detailed, and I'm, I'm actually impressed. You know, um, if I was to stay here, yes, I would, because I've seen uh, standard and uh, a bit substandard uh, apartments. So, of course, uh, I'll, uh, if I was to given an opportunity just to, to live here, I'll do so, because uh, the security is uh, okay. In terms of uh, commodities, daily, daily to daily use commodities, they are accessible. And then, uh, of course, security. I've said it's uh, very secure because uh, uh, they haven't created an environment for thieves to thrive. You understand? So it's so secure. And um, something else is that uh, in terms of transport, it's well um, uh, connect, uh, networked in terms of uh, accessing other parts of Nairobi. Uh, in terms of uh, for those who want to go to the JKA, yeah, just here, close, Very close, close enough, here yeah. to the airport. That is the uh, Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, the biggest airport in Kenya. Yeah. In terms of CBD, the Central Business District, it's just close. You can access it to train, which is which is cheaper, and then with the uh, buses, if you want. So it's well uh, networked in terms of movement. And then uh, hotels, in terms of water, these structures you can't build them. If you don't have, if you don't have uh, a borehole, so you start, you start by build, uh, digging a borehole, then you go up. You start by going down, then you go up. Exactly. So in terms of water, they have water, and that is a very, very big plus for them. So for me, I'll give it um, uh, eight point five. Eight point five. Yeah. Uh, where has the one point five gone? Uh, because of the privacy, I'll say privacy because you know oh. it's uh, it's dense with privacy, yeah, so yeah. privacy. Okay. Yeah, you know sometimes I don't know about you guys, but some people will want to come out with their shorts. Yeah. You know, or right, uh, you know, ladies, it. <laughs> they want to come out at the uh, on their on their balconies with their you know skimpy shorts or yeah. skimpy dresses. But in these areas, you can't do such things. Uh, so exactly. In terms of privacy, a little bit uh, you're limited. Wow, thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, guys, that is uh, Romy is me. Is me. Yeah. Kindly make sure to check him out on his YouTube channel. Uh, watch the amazing content that he's doing. And make sure to subscribe to support him. And I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yeah, all the best. Hi. Hi, what's up? I'm, I'm good. Yeah, yeah, so how do you find uh, Pipeline? I don't know, there's something about Pipeline and Upper Pipeline. Hill, guys. I don't know. Yeah, so how do you find this place? pipeline i would say it's uh, of course as expected as the hype says the most densely populated uh, neighborhood in uh, nairobi mm -hmm. and uh, to be honest after touring around it has lived up to to that hype actually it's not a hype it's very super densely populated big and massive uh, buildings around uh, occupied so many people booming businesses i find it to be a very you know densely populated but very nice 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 neighborhood that i can live in myself yeah. you having come from Rwanda, you would say you live in this neighborhood i would actually i would live in this neighborhood because to be honest uh, uh, one of the things that will make me live here first is the uh, security, security and the ease of access to, you know, services and commodities because I've seen so many businesses around here okay. and, uh, you know, they're selling a little bit of everything, so 
just at your doorstep. So that's nice actually. Wow, yeah. that's nice. So guys, that is Joao and us from Ngesha, all the way from Branda. Yeah. Uh, he's currently touring Kenya. Yeah, man. Kindly make sure to check him out on his YouTube channel. And as for me, I would say, uh, Pipeline, Upper Hill at Pipeline. Pipeline was amazing, guys. After the place, I've, uh, you know, I've got to interact with some of the residents of uh, Pipeline and it was such a great time and people here are quite friendly living in harmony I don't know I would just I just love the neighborhood and it's somewhere that I would live in and uh, with that much being said ratings think, ratings uh, I would rate this place 9 out of 10 one of the, the, the one is because I feel like I've seen some like compared to where I live in most of these places or the streets are paved so I feel like the residents should stop and uh, literally on, on around, you know. That is why I feel like for me with the population, it's okay. I love interacting with people. I love talking. So I'll give it 9 out of 10. What about you? Rating. Mm. Wow, that's super hard. Choice. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know what I'll be basing the rating on. But if I had to rate it, I'll rate it uh, an 8. An 8. Why not 10? I'll give it an 8 because uh, not a 10 because nothing is perfect. I believe everything has room for improvement even if you go to the most well rich neighborhood. I can never give it a 10. But uh, yeah, okay. an 8 because it's secure. It's uh, very well uh, organized. Yeah. To be honest, as you have said, it's paved, yeah. which is not everywhere. It's not common in so many neighborhoods. So, yeah. yeah. So the only the only thing I'll I'll leave the two for is maybe for the concerns of waste management, and in terms of that, I mean the sewage, not the garbage. <laughs> For me, it's for the sewer line and the garbage yeah, they need. The, the, At least if, if the, you know, the sewer line, the governance has to work with that actually. And the people who are building these apartments, because it's so easy for people to access permits to build apartments here in Kenya because of corruption. But if the government works on that, we'll be having like good sewer lines here in Nairobi. Especially in Nairobi, because when it rains, people are always complaining, even in the good neighborhoods like Westlands. Yeah, so that's why. But with the, uh, the the throwing of papers and plastics on the ground, this I'll blame it on the residents of Pipeline. Maybe they can change on that. But otherwise, I would live here. You're so being so harsh on this, to be honest, this is cleaner than most people in Nairobi. Most places. Most in places Nairobi. in Nairobi. This is not even that we are to actually. To be honest, this street this is we are not, on is clean, is guys. You've seen the other streets that have been on, but dirty. it's not as dirty as that. I mean, for them to look so that too many other, other neighborhoods I know, I don't want to mention names, and they consider themselves to be even high-end, high -end more than, than uh, pipeline. But I know where he's saying, here. guys, but anyway, <laughs> yeah, yeah if you it. watch this video to this point and you haven't yet given this video a like, kindly consider liking this video. Also, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, kindly subscribe to the channel and tell us what you want to see next on this channel. That is from uh, Kenya and Nairobi and Kenya at large. Until the next episode, bye. Let's keep peace. One love, one Kenya, one voice. Good. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answer to no man. I still go, go, go.